All right, today we're doing a video on how to use the espresso maker. First thing you want to do is get a cup, any kind of cup. It's just going to rinse out a little bit of uh, hot water when you first turn it on. The button is right here. Push that right there and it will turn on. Okay, now it says fill a fresh water tank with fresh water. I'm going to show you how to do that. Just remove the cup and kind of pull back. Pull back on this tray and this door pops open and here's the water pitch right there so this is filtered water so you go into that and while that's filling up other thing this should be empty but if it's not it's got some browns in there for, for pucks of espresso that we enjoyed earlier. Might as well empty those. Let's fill it up. This is where the trash can is. Dump those like that. Job is done. Make sure that's all the way to the back. All right, that's full enough for what I need this morning. Put the lid on. Right in until you hear a beep, then close the door and put that cup back underneath there. Now it says heating. Please wait. And while that's heating, we're gonna get the milk dispenser. This is where it'll be in the, in the fridge. Um, put whatever kind of milk you want in it. I put milk in it, uh, almond milk. So here's the hot water rinse that's running. But you can just slide this guy right into this slot right there. Just like that. Push it all the way back. Let's do the hot water rinse. This will tell you how much milk you have in it. And just be sure when you're done with this, rinse it out, put it back in the fridge where you found it. Don't want to leave any milk for anybody else. Yes, sir. Lactose intolerant or something, just to make sure it's rinsed out good. All right, so that's done. Dump that out. Okay. There's the main menu pops up pretty simple so uh, I'm gonna do this morning a um, cappuccino uh, cappuccino plus uh, double shot so um, all you have to do I haven't adjusted anything on here um, all you have to do is just press that button and then it says turn the knob to froth position if it's not so how much foam you like there, I put it kind of in the middle. All right, let's try that again. Position three, max frost. Okay, so it wants max. I put it on two. I don't like as much as much foam. So be sure to dispense your, your cup's not all the way to the back and it misses. Never puts enough uh, milk uh, initially. It's a bottom layer.
anytime you can always hit the stop button. I'll show you how that functions here shortly. So, um, but before we can do that, we have to take this out again, take our cleaning cup, put it under the milk froth because it wants to clean it. So, you have to turn this knob to clean. So now that function is done. Now you can see we need a little bit of milk in there. So over here, then you can go right over to, I think I passed it. There you go, hot milk. Press that. Again, select how much froth you want. I put, put the lowest amount there. And there we go. Out. And this is where you're going to want to use that stop button to the cup. So if you want to hot chocolate for the kids or whatever, you can use this hot milk function to just fill that up with the hot chocolate powder. Just be mindful of your milk level. Stop. All right. And then once again, since we used it, we have to do that. Frother. We're gonna rinse that out, put it back in the fridge for the next guest. The only other thing I wanted to cover to um, add beans, just pull out from the side, and the bean hopper is right here. Don't put ground coffee in here. Only the full coffee beans. That's the only instruction for that. And then this line lines up, you know, you have it straight and then push it back. Okay, so that's how you use this thing. Enjoy.